royal welcome to a new season of the Porsche Top 5 Series. Today, it's all about the value, and we'll let the numbers talk. Please welcome Mr. Ted Gashu. Welcome to Top 5. My name is Ted Gashu. We're here at Stuttgart Schloss Solitude, looking at five of the most valuable Porsches of all time. Join me as we take a look at them, starting at the bottom, going to the top. The 1973 917-30. Developed for the Can-Am Racing Series, 1,200 horsepower, air-cooled, 12-cylinder. That's 100 brake horsepower per cylinder. Described most recently by Porsche factory driver Patrick Long as excellent. It is one of those things that is so brawny and so manly to drive because there is not a single piece of computer-aided technology to keep you on the track. To my left, 200 liters of fuel. To my right, another 200 liters of fuel. That made this car a 1,200 horsepower, zero to 60 in 2.1 second bomb that heroes like Mark Donahue strapped themselves to in period. It is truly one of the most exceptional racing cars ever developed by Porsche, and it most recently sold for three million US. That which what makes it our top five. Now we go into top four. There's one car in our top five that doesn't have to rationalize its $5 million price tag. It's this, the 1956 Porsche 550A Spider. There's a reason they call it the giant killer. 1.5 liter diminutive engine with only 135 horsepower, developed as the first Porsche that was purposely built for racing. There was not a road car in vision, even though James Dean made it quite popular. It was almost immediately victorious, winning its 1956 Targa Florio entrance outright against cars with two or three times the power. It was the David to the Goliath of the era, and that was what makes it our number four. Now let's look at number three. Year was 1997, the race was Le Mans. Porsche had been asked to create 20 homologation specials to compete in the FIA GT1 class, and this is the result of their efforts. Developed at Weissach, 600 horsepower, twin turbo, water-cooled, 996-based engine. It's actually the same size engine as my car, but it puts out about three times the horsepower. It is, to me, the sexiest, coolest, most beautiful, elongated race car that you can legally drive on the road. And that is why the Strassen version is widely considered one of 20 to be one, not just the rarest, but one of the most desirable. And just recently, one sold at auction for 5.6 million US, a 1998 version. There is nothing like being able to drive a Le Mans road car on the street. And that is why the Strassen version is my personal favorite. But now we go on to number two. In 1983, chassis number 003 of the 956 Group C racing car won overall at Le Mans. It was driven by guys like Derek Bell, Al Holbert, Jackie Ix, legends of the racing world. And it was one of the most victorious racing cars, not just by Porsche, but by any company ever. It was one of the first race cars ever to use ground effect styling, which kept it sucked to the ground as you went around corners at great speed. It had this fire-breathing engine that when you downshifted, shot massive flames out. It's what made Group C Racing a spectacle to watch and defined the 1980s era of racing driving. It's what makes it our number two, which is why it's also worth about 10 million US dollars. It's a spectacular car, and now let's go look at number one. This is our number one, the 917K. Master of Le Mans, golf liveried, made popular by Steve McQueen in the film Le Mans. It is one of the most iconic racing cars in history. Racing driver Derek Bell was offered one of these after his racing season with Porsche for 5,000 pounds. At a time when a house cost about 7,000 pounds, he famously told me, if I came home with a racing car and a newborn baby, I would have been divorced in a week and a half. Unfortunately for him, it is now worth 14 million US dollars, and it is one of the most exceptional racing cars in history. Porsche engineer Hans Metzger developed the company's first V12. Not a flat 12 is commonly misconstrued, 
which delivered unrivaled power, reliability, and just an insane amount of torque delivered to these massive wheels at 630 brake horsepower. Its slippery aerodynamic body paired with that massive engine is what allowed it to go over 220 miles an hour in the Mulsanne Strait at Le Mans. It is, to me, one of the greatest racing cars of all time. It's been a great pleasure sharing the world's five most valuable Porsches with you. For now, though, I have to head off in the most valuable Porsche to me. It's this one right here. See you guys next time.